Hi there Stampin' Friends. Here's another make and take. This is an Eclipse card inspired by Linda Higgins. Um, hers was very similar. She had a ribbon across the top though and she used a different stamp set. So here's what I've created with this one and then on the inside I put a U. Y-O-U and I didn't pop up the inside. This one I left plain at the bottom. And this one I did a row of the hearts. So let's get started. To create this project, you're going to need a piece of basic black cardstock, 8.5 by 11, cut in half, and then scored in half. Two pieces of cardstock of Sahara sand, cut at 4 by 5 and a fourth. You need two pieces of this that are identical size. Again, that's 4 by 5 and a fourth. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish the edge of my black cardstock. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper and on this one I sponged around the edges with the Sahara sand and I'm going to take the embossing buddy and go over that to remove the oils and the static. The, let me show you the stamp sets we're going to be using. We're going to be using wood words, this image right here, and from Rose Wonder, I'm going to be using this image, this sentiment, wishing you a marriage made in heaven and a lifetime blessed by God. So I'm going to ink this floral sentiment up with Versamark. And stamp it on the edge of this paper here. Kind of in the center. The center going this way. And then I'm going to ink it one more time. And stamp it right here. It'll be easier to see once I get the silver embossing powder on. So that's what we have so far. I'll go ahead and put this back in the container. Okay. Now I'm going to heat set this using my heat tool. Oh, I see just a little bit of extra there. I'm going to wipe that off. You may not be able to see this part because my cord's not quite long enough. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it is, when the heat embossing is done on it. Okay, now I'm going to take the magnetic platform, a clear plate, I'm going to take a, um, a centering ruler and place this down on here. And I'm going to make sure this is at like 2 and 5 eighths on each side, just so I kind of have the center there. And then I'm going to run this black line along the bottom. What you do is you just want to make sure it's that you have it centered. Then I'm going to take the letters from this set right here, from the large letters framelits. And the heart that I used came from this strip right here out of the mini treat bag uh, die set. So the L. And then the O, and the V, and the E. Um, you want to make sure that this stays straight. And double check, make sure your letters are also straight. Um, not just the line that you're putting it on, but also that they're straight up and down. It can be a little deceiving at times. 
And then I put a clear plate on top of that and run it through the Big Shot. And it comes out looking like this. I'll put this on top here like this. And then all of the letters just pop right out. So I have gone ahead and taken those all out. I'm going to put Tombow Glue on the back of this layer all on the edge and then in between the letters like so and then on these little pieces on the B and the E a little goes a long way I like to put just a very fine line of Tombow glue I'm going to center this on the black cardstock And then I've taken the, the foam adhesive strips here and I have put them on the back of all the letters except for the O because I want to show you how to do that. I'm just going to remove the liner off the back of this and put the L in that negative space. And then here's the B. I've also sponged around all these letters in um, Sahara Sand. It's a subtle difference, but it re really makes a lot of difference when you stick these back in there. They just, it gives them that much more depth and definition. I have also made some Christmas cards using this Eclipse technique, and I embossed the paper with an embossing folder before I did any of the cutting or the, or before I did the letters and that makes a really neat effect too okay I'm just gonna pop this one in now I saved the O back because I wanted to show you so the O comes out like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece I'm gonna take the actual O which I only sponged around the O I did not sponge around this center piece this piece I'm gonna take and put a little Tombow glue on the back And this O is popped in there, right? And you want to make sure that you have your O in there the right way. If you had this turned around like this, your embossing would not line up with what's on the base. So make sure that that is positioned in there the correct way. And then again with this piece also, make sure that it's right side up. I'm just going to pop that down in there with that little Tombow on the back. And then I just take my paper piercer, pop up the O. And I can put these foam, put this foam on here. Sometimes it works to leave it on this strip and sometimes it doesn't. So earlier when I was doing it, the liner came off the back, which makes it tricky. Basically when you're doing this, when you're putting this down, you don't want that foam to come over the edge of your letter, whatever it is, because it'll show from the other side. So cut it short enough that it doesn't show. And I'll just put a piece over here. Yeah, this is being stubborn. The liner's coming off of this. But it'll still be okay. And then I'm just going to trim that. All right. So I'll move the, remove the liner off of this. And then pop that. Okay, what's going on here? Pop that in its place. So there's the front of the card. For the inside, you've got that piece of um, Sahara sand again. And this is where the, the inside sentiment is going to come in. And I'm going to just use my stamp positioner, which I had already purchased before Stampin' Up! came out with theirs. This is inked up in the Memento ink, the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And I'm going to re-ink it again to make it a little darker and a little more crisp. That's a nice thing about these positioners. You can do it however many times you want to do it. Okay, I think that looks good. 
I'm going to take that out. Okay, now I'm going to take some, I meant to do this on the front, but so that it ran down on the bottom, but I'm going to put it on the inside and I'll show you how I did that. So I just took a thin line of the, um, the silver thread there and I'm going to take a piece of, just a little piece of scotch tape. And this is already cut because I filmed this once and my battery ran out before I was done videotaping. So, this is already cut. And I'm just going to run it along the bottom like this, which is exactly what I would have done had I done it on the front of the card. So I went around there three times. You want it a little taut. Another piece of tape so that doesn't move on us. So that's what it looks like so far. Then I'm going to use um, a glue dot and a silver star, silver star, silver heart. Which is kind of the way the whole day has been. Can't talk right, but you'll have days like that. Then I'm going to move this so that the lines of thread are all even and I'm just going to put this right in the center like that. Okay. And this also has been sponged around in the Sahara sand ink. Pop this on the inside. Oh, it's very pretty on the inside too, though. I kind of like it like that. So there you have it, an Eclipse card. You can do different letters, different background stamps, add different embellishments, no embellishments. Spice it up however you like. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.